Sisters, it's Big Bang Experiment time again! Today, we are going to make a heart model to learn how hands in the heart move blood around the body. I'm so excited! But before we start, let's go through our 5 step process. Step 1, ask a question. My question is, how does the heart move blood around the body? Is it by shaking or by pumping? Step 2, hypothesize. I hypothesize that the heart acts like a pump that helps pump blood around the body. Step 3, do an experiment. Before we start, make sure to get your grown-up and prepare the following materials. First step, we're gonna cut this balloon into half with a pair of scissors. Cut the balloon at the neck. You should have something like this. Now, place the measuring cup in front of you. Fill up half the cup with water. That means that the water should not cross the 60ml line on the measuring cup. Take out the red food colouring. Pour the food colouring into the water. Just a bit will be good enough. This solution will be the blood in our heart. Chipsters, it's time to bring back your balloon. Stretch out the balloon and wrap it around the mouth of the cup. This is what it should look like. Next, we're gonna poke some holes in the balloon. Take out the pencil and a sharpener to sharpen your pencil. Once you have your sharpened pencil, you can now poke a tiny hole in the balloon. It won't work if the hole is too big. Take a point near the edge and push it down with your pencil. Chipsters, if you can't poke the hole, ask your adults for help. Once you have created a tiny hole, pick another point at the opposite end of the balloon and poke another tiny hole. Don't worry if you mess this up. There are more balloons in your experiment kit so you can try again. You should have two holes in your cup before we move on. In your experiment kit, you should also have two bendy straws. Take the longer end of the straw and slide it through the hole. Make sure to do this with both straws. You should also bend the top of the straws once they are inside the cup. Once again, make sure there are no gaps between the straw and the balloon. Your heart model should look like this when you are done. For our final step, tear off a small piece of blue tag. We will stick this piece onto one of the straws, covering the hole on the top. Ta-da! We have now completed our very own heart model. Make sure you have an other cup positioned next to the open straw, so you don't make a mess. Step 4, observe and analyze. Now that we have our heart model, let's test out our hypothesis by looking at the model. First, Let's try shaking our model and see what happens. Hmm, it looks like the blood is not moving, Chipsters. Ha! Ah, let's try pumping the heart instead. All you need to do is just press down on the balloon and release your hand slowly. This creates a pumping action. And oh, look at that! It's pushing the blood out of the open straw into the other cup. Woohoo! Our heart model is working! Step 5, draw a conclusion. Great job, Chipsters! It seems that our hypothesis was correct. The blood moving from one cup to another is similar to how blood moves from chamber to chamber when our heart pumps. Hey, Chipsters! I have a fun fact for you. Want to watch the full video? Sign up now and get started with your own free trial!